This is one of those Glock 17s I was customizing, building, adding on to. Um, so I left the black part because, you know, this style, Glock 17 from Shermery, has this nice black base. And I figure if I paint the slide and do enough to it, that does a good enough job of making it not look too real. So went ahead with this color, which is like a, I don't know what you'd even call it, a burgundy. I actually have a red metallic on another one I'm going to show you that turned out a lot like this color, which I was surprised at because that's not what I was thinking of for red metallic. But anyway, this is obviously this piece is going to go on top here like this. It's going to push in like that. I did flush it out a little more so that it could flush in a little more. And then it's just basically going to be on there, boom, like that, right? Nice, long kind of barrel, ability to put some sort of uh, grip here on the front. It's going to be attached up top. This is just an inner barrel piece that's going to slide in here and push in all the way and you're not going to even see it once it's you know in there all the way so there we go yep so that piece would just slide in like that and that's just to help keep everything lined up and on track when it comes to the barrel so this one was pretty easy right looks i like how it looks obviously we're going to screw down here i'd done some pre-drilled holes First, I'm going to slide that bracket on for the hopper, um, and then we'll do that. Like I said, be able to add like a grip right here, some small foregrip, and I think it'll look pretty cool. So again, Glock 17, just customized. We'll see how it shoots. Hopefully everything's lined up perfect so we still get a nice FPS out of it, and it's just fun to print some of these different things I find online, these free STLs, and Go ahead and print them out and figure out ways to make them work with the gel blasters that I have. Um, different thing when it comes to STLs, first of all, all of these are always free. You can always find them on Thingiverse. You can use um, a search aggregator like Yegi or Thangs. Those search all kinds of sites for um, STLs. Uh, but I also wanted to comment, those of you who are looking for those ladder ball uh, STLs, the guy who I did videos for, shut his website down, but he does have all those STLs for sale on cults3d.com. So if you're looking for those, go to cults3d.com, search Splatterball, and you can buy those STL files, but you have to find someone to print them. I believe Cults has a way where you can actually pay to have them printed through someone on their site. All right, so check back. I'll do a demo with this once I get it put together completely. And, of course, we'll test the FPS and, and see how it shoots. So please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and participate in the giveaways. So I've been on a little customization kick lately, doing some G17 customizations. I really like this for customizing, and I've shown you in videos as to why just it's a good form factor to adapt different um, airsoft kits to. So very, it's got similar specs, not the same. I still have to do a lot of manual fabrication, and then some um, that I can do online as well on my computer. But so here's a cool one I made, right? So kind of a long version, right? We got a nice long barrel with the front top rail on it. So I did have a laser up top, flashlight down here. Thought about putting a grip out there, but I just think it's probably going to be too, even though it's on there, it's quite secure. I still think it's probably better not to. So put just a quick little grip right here because I thought that was a cool option. So Again, check it out. Of course, I'll shoot it. Um, I did notice in testing, I had put in this internal barrel, um, thinking that might help. And actually, that was causing the gel balls to basically explode. So after I removed it, then I wasn't having any issues. So those are just some things we I learn as I go, just depending on the blaster. Like if it's just off slightly, just enough, then it basically you know, tears up those gel balls as they come out, or if they don't meet together perfectly and, and match up perfectly, those inner barrels, that's where that problem can lie. But in this case, it's no big deal because you have such a nice big barrel that, you know, the tiny little barrel has no issue shooting out of there. So, so here we go, Glock 17. This one was a Shermery Glock 17 model. Now just customized out. I don't really have a name for it, so I don't know how I'll describe it in the title. We'll just have to wait and see. Again, please comment, like, subscribe, um, share with your friends, and participate in the giveaways. Thanks. So here we have a Glock 17 I've customized here. This was a Shermery Glock 17. Can't see what I did here. Put this nice long extended barrel with the rail, 
rail meets right up there. Obviously that disables the blowback feature because it can't do it now. Put a laser on there, a little flashlight on the bottom. Might put a little tiny grip here. We'll see if I can find something. Thought we'd shoot it here and test it out. Still getting pretty good distance with it. Let's see what kind of FPS we're at. Average about 140, so uh, definitely you know a little slower than it was. Not really sure exactly why. Um, such a big barrel, I don't imagine there's any sort of barrel drag going on. I had actually tried to do that inner barrel extension that actually caused more of an issue, so I took that out. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. You still have a good amount of power with it. So again, it's a Shermery Glock 17 that I've customized out. Let me know what you guys think comments, questions, of course, please uh, post them below. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friend and participate in the giveaways. And most of these custom blasters I end up giving away. So at some point, this might be up in one of the giveaways.